didn't turn it to the man up. Man now, man now. I didn't turn it to the man up. Man now, man now. I didn't turn it to the man up. Yeah. Yeah. on my jeans, dripping denim on my low buttons. I didn't turn it to the man up. Man now, man now. I didn't turn it to the man up. Man now, man I didn't turn it to the man up. Bow on my jeans, dripping denim. What's happening with packing cool kids? It's your boy, I see this one cool, I'm back outside, as you can see. Last video, I promised I was gonna do something very spectacular for the kids, and as you guys see, I did not lie, man. I came straight here to the Nike store. We finna go up in there, and we about to blow a real bag on the kids, man. I finna show Leon and them that I really didn't mean to hurt their feelings, and instead of just telling them, I'ma show them. So come with me, man. Wow, this reminds me of the Air Max, how I want them, bro. They got some heat up in there. But this is the story we're going to, man. We're not trying to win nobody no shoes. We're going to buy them some shoes. And I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to just do it. Guys, we're going to start off with the smallest, which is Carnation. They got some size four use here. And I know Carnation. She really don't care about shoes. She will wear anything that's colorful and cute. Here we go with some pink shoes. Play shoes at that. So we're going to get the... Do we got to get the whole box? Do I got to get the whole box? Yeah, you can give the boxes to them when Thank you're done. Help me out, D-Lo. Help me out, my boy. My boy. They go one for Nation. Look, boom, another pair. Two for Nation. Hold on, what we got, what we got? We want Nation, oh, these are swaggy. Don't be swaggy. Put the muds in there. Hey, you can hold the bags, my boy d -Lo. Love you, man, you always here when I need you, man. Look, if I got nobody, I always got d -Lo. I know he was probably at home on Twitch, trying to get them tips and donations. What the heck is these? Black boys, yes sir. Hold on, man, we got so far black, pink, black and teal. We need some bluish. Ooh, I don't know. She, well, I like these, but she might not. But it don't matter what she like, cause she get to play in the park. And that's the thing, like, when I made fun of Leon's shoes, quote unquote, it's because he had on his park shoes. Well, I thought that if they was going to the park, they should be swagged up for the park. Well, look, Dilo, when I play 2K in the park, do I look like I got on some busted shoes? I always have on drip, right? Hey, you know, it's funny, I dress like this in the park. <laughs> what you mean, like on the game? Yeah. Oh, you just like bummy? Okay, okay. Well, the starter clothes. Wait, how many is that? Five. So we done with Nation, because the total here is how many shoes I can get per kid? As many as you want. Why did say five? She a capper. It don't even matter. Look, we only got three bags. We're going to get... No, you don't got to check, because she already told us. I said I wanted 10 shoes each, which is 30 shoes. She said the limit is five. Oh, yeah, or else it's going to be like a bulk buy. What's a bulk buy? I'll do that. when you buy like a lot of shoes and resell it later. I ain't doing no reselling. Yeah, Man, they must don't know who CJ so cool is. Tell them I'm CJ so cool. Tell them to get off them rules, all right? Yeah. Now listen, I'll tip whoever I got to tip. I'll give you $500, but I got to get my kids these shoes, man. They need shoes. Look, while they over there figuring out what they need to do to get me my shoes, we gonna find Leon some shoes. He next up. This the size four line, so we out of here. Nation already got five pair. We going to the size sixes now. Excuse me. Sheesh. Where the size six is at? Where the size six is at? Six? Yeah. Oh, that way? Yeah, that way. Two miles right. that way. Two hours that way. Let's go, man. Hey, we already found it. Size six. Now, Leon, you know, he got more, he's older, so he really going to care about what you get him. So we got to be real specific with this. We don't want to get him just anything. We have to get him the specific, raw, whatever they got. Like, I know he's going to be at the park, so he definitely needs some hooping shoes. Look, these some definitely basketball shoes right here. Yeah, yeah, there you go, D. What the freak is this? No, is no. These Air Mags? No, no, Air Mags. You mean Air Maxes? Tim ain't no Air Mag. Look, look, these are the options, man. It's not my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just find the best shoe that you know I would want Leon to wear. You know how I am. Hold on. Get him these for hooping. Definitely them. Nah, put them back. Them, them whack. Get him them for hooping. Put them back. They too plain. Get him these. He likes stuff like this. He want to be flashy. He want to be colorful because that's what he see me. He see how I dress. He want to dress like me. Not only do he want to dress like me, I want him to dress like me. That's my son. Even though Leonidas is not my biological son, I'd rather him look like he is than not. I never treated my kids no type of way that wasn't the same way as I treat myself. I've always gave them the same opportunities to be just like me. Whether it's giving them money, giving them designer, or giving them whatever they want. Oh! Yeah, we ain't getting the same size. He said now he changed up his mind so we can buy whatever we want. We're going to see about that when we get to the front. But y'all ain't got nothing cool, though. Where's the Where's the Jordans at? Where's the Jordans for size 6? Is this the only size 6 out? Man, it's the weakest owl I've ever seen in my life. Man, what in the heck y'all done did with all the shoes? Some LeBrons? 
LeBron James. All right, look, you see what I got on? Look, I don't play. You know what these is? What are these? He don't know, D-Lo, he just like you. No, but more than sixes, what are the name of these? These the motorsports, these old as heck. Look how crispy they is, bro. You see what I'm saying? These OG, man, come on now. Thank you, bro, I appreciate that. He said they clean, y'all know what time it is. We in the shoe store, shutting the shoe store down with my shoes on. But look, we gotta keep finding the drip. I'm not gonna leave this store without getting my boy drippy. Simple, man. I, I don't know, he can't wear these. I don't even know why these on the boy's side. They must have been on an accident. Bro, what the? Thilo, can you help me, man? You got swag, don't you? Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't have asked you that. <laughs> hold on. How many you got Leon? One, two, three, four, five. We done with Leon. Look, I'm going to hold Leon's. The mud's probably getting a little bit heavy for you. No, I'm going to hold Nations. Because you already, you, you done with that bag. So I'm going to just hold. Look, now we got to focus on Bigfoot Jalea. Come on now. Huh? Yeah, it's me. What's up, my boy? Why you got that mask on? Don't tell me you got COVID. He's on my What's your name, man? You getting some shoes, Chris? No, I was over there. I was there with the. Like, I can't hear you because you got a face mask on. I was over there. Okay, there you go. Course. Yeah. Over there, and then I saw you coming. You saw me? Oh, I you. Oh, I you, girl. I know Hey, stay up, my boy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Help me buy some shoes for Jalila. I think the size seven is not. This is my fault. I thought you meant 10 of the same. No, it's cool. You ain't want me to buy no shoes. Now, wait. You the one that told me I could only get a specific amount. Now, you said sorry, right? Yeah. She like, I ain't trying to be on camera apologizing. <laughs> Look, we finna get Jaleah some shoes, but even though we can get more than five each, I think it's only right to start off with five each because these bags ain't got... Look at D-Lo, he's struggling, y'all. It's real life behind the scenes right here. So look, I don't know what the heck I'm about to do, but I cannot get the set. Like, the size seven has to be the best shoes. So can you just at least show me the best shoes you got in size seven? Because my daughter is crazy about swag. You the one... Bro, you got... Look, she wants something like that. Something drippy like that. Come on, my boy. Come on, give me some Vapor Maxes for Jalea, man. I ain't trying to get her none of these. Nah, man. He's normally the one with all the heat. He got the heat. He already got... No, I know he got the heat. He just nervous. He camera shot. This whole store ain't got no heat. Like, they, what the freak? It's air conditioned in here. Ain't no heat. This is weak. Like, where's the drippy stuff? This the, this the basketball shoes. Like, what, what the heck? She might kill me if I bring them home. What's she gonna wear with them? Them look like some, I don't even know. I want, I wanted some forces. Oh, let me go to the front and see if y'all got forces. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, get what first? Cause I know Jalea, she ain't gonna wear nothing out of this out. She, the pink joints? The pink joints, let me see them, let me see them. I feel like these jiggy. She definitely wear these, all right. But is these a size seven? Bro, these ain't no seven. Jalea feet, oh yeah it is, wow. Okay, let's get them. Hold on, on second thought, she might wear these. Mm, yeah. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. All right, You're put pushing them back. Put them back. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Let's just go up there and get some forces, cause I know for a fact she likes forces. Man, these Jaleas drippy. Oh, yeah. She gonna love them. See, I knew you had swag, man. Quick cap it, man. Give me them. Yeah. What else you got back there? I wish you can get them Lebrons, even though Lebrons got put out. Them big. <laughs> Well, I don't know, man. We can well, we can go to another store and get Julia some real stuff from like a real store. This is the Nike outlet where, you know, you got a lot of options, but you really don't have a lot of options at the same time. Let me see, my boy. Tell me something nice. What's this total, my boy? I know I get a Nike discount. <laughs> yes, sir. Give me that big bag, Christmas time bag. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Look at these low muscles, boy. The muscles getting little. I need, I need exactly. <laughs> exactly. The point of getting little. This don't look like a lot. How many y'all get? Uh, that's five. Twelve. Oh, they over there. Okay, okay. They got twelve pair of shoes. Wow, that's nice. Twelve or thirteen. Wow. And guess what? I didn't get my own kid Kamari anything. You see? I'm trying to get my other family back. Kamari ain't never left me. She coming. Matter of fact, she coming tomorrow. Look at that. See, D-Lo ain't even know. Exactly. So get ready to pick them up from the airport, my boy. Really, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> now you talking my language. Now we walking out with them bags. Yes, sir. Boy, look at that, man. Look how easy and fast that was. Too easy. Stay up, my boy. You should be a YouTuber one day. We out. Thank you for your help, my boy.
Yes, yeah, sir. Like, what, what you looking around for? You think it's another story should hit? Huh? A picture? You got a ski mask on. You gonna rob me or something? Mission shoes complete. And I don't even think I'm done. I should actually get more shoes than this. We'll go to another store right now. Just got back home, guys. And as you can see, I told y'all, man, I surprised D-Lo and basically surprised y'all. Kamari is on her way. She will be here tomorrow. So you know I had to do something, man. I can't just keep bringing my daughter out here without surprising her. So this time, since I don't have the other kids, I'm surprising Kamari by herself. And I guess you too, Champagne. Yeah, you, baby. I'm surprising her with a big old jumpy house water slide. Not only the water slide, we're going to have us an axe throwing contest over here. Champagne, you better watch out for I throw you, man. Yeah. But you guys know this video is not about Kamari and it's not about me. It's about the kids, Jaleel Leon and Carnation. You already saw me go shopping and get them some shoes. Something like, but five pair of shoes at once each. That's actually, Jaleel didn't have five options because I wasn't going to get her just anything. But I'm not done. I want you guys to see for yourself without me just telling you that I can do for these kids. Just like I have always have done for these kids. And I'm going to continue to do for the kids. Even though royalty won't allow me to see them anymore. I'm going to do until I can't do no more. Because these kids not only help me become who I am, but they were a part of my life for eight years, so I can never forget them. I do giveaways anyway. I give people things that I've never met in my life, so why wouldn't I be prepared to do things for my own kids? That's right. I'm calling them my kids, even though they're not biologically mine. I still consider them my kids, and I wouldn't want a thing to happen to them, especially them getting blasted online but not dressing appropriately, knowing that their dad is rich, knowing that their mom is rich. I really don't know why she allowed Leanna to go to the mall like that, but none of that was my fault. Like I said, I shouldn't have posted the picture on my story, but someone already posted Posted it and sent it to me. So all I did was repost it what was already posted. It's not like I created it myself. I wasn't at the mall. I didn't take the picture. I had no idea they was looking like that. Now, royalty knows that the kids want to go to the park. If she got some park shoes for them, let them be park shoes. But as a parent, my only thing is, if you about to take your kids to the mall, you know that you're taking them to the mall. Make them get dressed. Well, duh. Not that I forgot, but how in the heck could I forget the shoes in the car? I was so hungry. Plus, we had the jumpy house people here. Had to make sure they was all straight, you know, scrizzy great but yeah man look got my kids the shoes so even though i made fun of them whatever you want to call it i made a solution to the problem that's all it's about like that's the thing that's the best what my channel has always been about i can make fun of my kids because i can take care of my kids d -Lo, what the heck going on my boy oh he got on music he can't even hear me he listened to that cj so cool so basically this camera be going out too much right d -Lo? And I can't deal with that because there's a lot going on. So I got to get that replaced, which we're doing right now. Shout out to my boy d -Lo. Definitely comes in handy. That's why they're a handy man. But yeah, man, we got the shoes. We got the festivities for Kamari tomorrow. Now I got to figure out. I'm going to call the um, chef and have the lady prepare some food for Kamari. You know, it's going to be lit, man. Soon as she come, it's going down. Not down, it's going up. Then we going shopping. Like, of course, if I go shopping for the other kids, I have to go shopping for Kamari. She really don't have nothing out here at all. So that's, you know, so that's a must I have to do. I bought her the Gucci last time, spent 10,000 on her, and that wasn't a smart investment because not only did she mess up the clothes already, but it wasn't as many as I could have got. So when you're spending $10,000 on a kid, you need to get your money's worth, and you need to get a lot of items. So that's what we're gonna be doing this time. If I spend 10 bags on Kamari, she should be filling up this whole living room with bags when we get back, instead of having about two Gucci bags. That's whack. Now, that being said, I'm not hating on Gucci. Obviously, y'all know I love my designer. And if I wear designer, my kids should wear designer. But, you know, I'm going to the point where even I should be wearing Nike outfits. I tried to get some on D-Lo's birthday, but, you know, they ain't even have my size. So it's cool, though, man. Right now, we got the shoes. And you know what to do, man. It's time to try to call royalty to see if the kids can come get the shoes. You know she don't like me recording. I don't even know if she gonna answer. But I'm definitely about to record this, man. You see what time it is, man. Royalty. Let's see. I'm not gonna put it on frame because then she's gonna be looking at me and know I'm recording. She's not gonna answer, man. Oh, she. Can the kids come get the shoes I just bought them? They're not here, they're at the park. They're at the park? What kind of shoes they wearing? Them same ones? Huh? They wearing them shoes that got them roasted? No, CJ. You got them new play shoes? Yeah, CJ. Well, I got them a lot more, so maybe they would like to come over here if you just tell them, go get them from the park. All right. Oh, you gonna bring them over here? All right. You lying. Y'all, I think she knew I was recording. There's no way she just said all right that many times. 
I, I think I gave it away though. I was definitely talking like I was recording. Not that I talk in a different way, but I wasn't really focused and holding the camera close. I was holding the camera down too far. I think she knew what was going on, man. But look, long story short, it don't matter because if she really does bring the kids, that's crazy. Like that will fix a lot. Y'all haven't seen the kids. I haven't seen the kids. So if she really does bring the kids, we just changed the world with this video and I'm super grateful and thankful. So I'm gonna just keep praying. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a quick little prayer right here. Heavenly Father, I come to you today asking you for forgiveness for my sins, Heavenly Father. I pray that everyone watching this video, everyone listening to the sound of my voice, be blessed by your hands, Most High. I ask that you live inside my soul, inside my heart, Heavenly Father, on a day-to-day -day basis. And when I'm led astray, Heavenly Father, I ask that you correct me on my path to you, Heavenly Father. All I wanna do is lead everyone to the heaven gates, Most High. If all I can do is touch one soul, Heavenly Father, please allow me to do that. I come to you begging you for forgiveness, like I said, Heavenly Father, and I give you all the glory, all the power, everything. Amen. Listen, Most High is everything. God himself is everything. Without God, we are nothing. So until you guys realize that we won't be able to grow, we won't be able to prosper, we won't be able to be successful in general. I'm successful because of my connection with God, but I'm going to continue to be successful because of my connection with God. I'm not going to stop praying, and sometimes I'm going to pray on camera like you just saw. I'm not uncomfortable with that. I don't have an issue with that. Hopefully you guys watching don't have an issue with that. But listen, these shoes are it's something very minor. I can do this every single hour in a day. You guys know that. I'm not faking like I'm rich, okay? I don't wanna throw it in your face that I'm rich, but you guys know that I'm rich, all right? But that being said, the kids are always well taken care of, and I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm not gonna stop just because they came back and now, okay, I got you guys back. Listen, I will continue to do this for the rest of their life, even when they're grown. I already told them. I don't give them their debit cards because they're gonna grow up one day and be like, Dad, where's our bank account money? Y'all spent them when y'all was kids. I'm not gonna say that. I'm saving their money in their bank accounts for them because I care about them. I genuinely love them. So that being said, like I said, those shoes is something small, something minor, but it's hopefully gonna create something major. I want my family back. Like, how else can you put it? I want royalty back. I love royalty. Royalty, I know you're watching this video. I love you. Even though I just recorded you without your permission, I'm sorry, all right? I didn't have to do it, but I wanted to do it because it actually worked. Like, you, you actually said you're gonna bring the kids. Now, if you really are or not, we're gonna find out. But at least you look better on camera than I made you look in all the other videos. I've already told people that you didn't let me see the kids, so the fact that you just agreed to let me see them, it already makes you look better. And that's my whole plan. I wanna make royalty look as best as possible because she's the mother of my children. She started this with me. Like, without royalty, what would I be? Still doing reactions? Come on now, y'all know. Royalty and I, we changed the game. Look, I am not even saying that I can replace royalty, but there's a lot of different girls I can put on this channel and continue to make videos with. But I'd rather do it with my family. Who wouldn't? I mean, there's a lot of people that probably would love to leave their family behind, but I'm not one of them. All right, I'm a real family man by heart. I'm not out here looking for a girl with a fake body and she gotta be a different culture and she gotta look best, music video style girl. I don't need all that. I know a lot of you YouTuber guys, you like, man, I need the best looking girl on YouTube. That's you, kudos to you, but trust me, that girl will not love you for who you are, and she will definitely leave you for someone bigger. That's why I want my family back, because I don't want someone that's going to do that to me, even though it seems like royalty child do that with the funny mic. But still, though, she didn't go out there. So by her not going out there, by her not linking with him, that gives me a lot of leeway to say that she's not a bad person. She's still a good person. She trolled, said she was going, but she actually didn't go. So that being said, I got a lot of love for royalty. Hey, I even got love for Funny Mike. Because you know what? At the end of the day, God himself doesn't want me to hate on anybody. So why would I hate on anybody? Look, Funny Mike, maybe you weren't inspired by me. Maybe I didn't help you start your YouTube. But listen, from what I saw, I saw some similarities from me in you. Maybe that just means we should be best friends. Who knew? But listen, I don't hate you. I don't have no beef against you. Royalty, I don't hate you. I don't have no beef against you. I love the whole world entirely. That's what I want this, this generation to learn. The more you love, the more prosperous you'll be. The more you hate, the more stressed out you'll be. You know how stressed out I was just from dissing people and hating on people and getting all these hate messages? I'm not used to it. Now, can I handle it? Yeah, because I'm a grown man. I'm going to stand on my own. But I don't want it. I do not want people hating me. For what? That just brings my energy down. Now, that being said, we don't got the kids yet, but we got the shoes. We got Kamari coming. We got the festivities. Now, if the kids really come, then you know what's next. Linking with Kamari for the first time. Having fun. I'm going to take them somewhere. We're going to go out to eat. We're going to go shopping. We're going to do challenges. We're going to do pranks. We're going to turn up. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my family back to where we was when we first started. Pizza challenges. Uh, I lost the kids' pranks. Uh, 
man, all kind of ideas. I don't have to say anything. You guys already seen a lot of content from us, and it's not over. We can come up with so much more just sticking together as a family. And of course, it got a lot to do with me. As long as I'm not cheating on royalty and being sneaky, then the energy won't be bad. As long as I can fix myself, which I have, y'all already seen Tata's video. It's officially over. I mean, I can't say it was officially a thing anyway. It wasn't even three days. But that being said, I already pushed everything to the side to make room for my family. My house is very clean and it's ready for them to come. Now, y'all might be saying, what about Carnation? She ain't got no bed. You gave Kamari Jalea's bed. What you gonna do about that? It's nothing for me to go buy two beds right now and put them in that room. Matter of fact, D-Lo, he outside, y'all know that. We gonna go get some beds tomorrow. That's the first thing we gonna do. We gonna go get two beds, my boy. That's exactly what we gonna do. We gonna prove to royalty, prove to the kids, and prove to the viewers that see this so cool is not as bad as you guys think. And more than that, I'm a loving father, all right? You guys see what's going on right here, man. Finna take the shoes out, show them off, show what we got. My boy d you gonna help me, my boy? You over there taking a break? I see you tired, boy. He over there tired, y'all. Nah, d making sure my house is extra secured, you know? Security, you can't never go wrong with security. Whoa, I never had these, but you can sign your name on them, bro. There's a spot for you to sign your name. I should definitely sign that. Not only is it a spot to sign, but it's only on one shoe, which is super dope if you ask me. Now, I don't want to get the boxes mixed up, but I do want to take the shoes out and, you know, spread them across the floor and just see, see the vibes, you know? Let's see the vibes. Dang. Yo, these are cold. These probably glow in the dark. I'm about to find out, actually. Let's find out these glow in the dark. The number one way to find out if a shoe glows in the dark, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it's, uh, you just do this. You just put it against the light, let the thing get hot. Once it gets hot, you take it to a dark area, like such, close the door, and no, they don't glow in the dark. That's cool though, they still look like they do. <laughs> Besides, it doesn't matter if they glue in the dark or not, they still some fresh Nike, so yeah. Got them. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. Bro, these the best ones. I ain't gonna count. Them was the real come up right there. Nation, you got blessed, cause I would wear these, I'm telling you. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I would wear them too to hoop in, and I would definitely wear them to hoop in. That's what this, this was all about. This ain't for no drip check. This is for the kids to have fun in style. Like, when they at the park, there's no way they shouldn't be dripped out. Like, if you're gonna go to the park every day, you need to have some swag to be at the park every day. That being said, that's what this was about. Now, you know Nation, she likes to run. So, we got her some track star shoes right here, you know what I'm saying? These are unmessable. You can't mess these up. What? They're unmessable. You can bend them. You know what I'm saying? D-Lo laughing. I just created a word. It's cool though. Don't steal my, don't steal my word. These are unmessable. These, I think you can bend those. These are unmessable. Them basketball shoes, they definitely unmessable. So we good, man. Definitely picked the right stuff. Nation got real good. She got good, 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 good drip. Cause all this stuff is not only like basketball park attire, but you could just literally just throw this on if you're just going to the mall or something. You can definitely go from the park to the mall with all these shoes. It's the white forces for me. Once you wear white forces to the park, they're done. You can't wear them nowhere else, not even the park. That's my whole point. So I don't even, I don't have no old white forces in my house. The kids already know. Once we came out tour, we threw all our white forces away to the Goodwill. Not in the garbage, but to the Goodwill because there's no need for us to hold on to them. They're not collectibles at that point. They're just some shoes. Now, collectibles would be something you don't wear to the park. But these, yeah, you can wear these to the park. Every last one of them. Look at these, bro. Definitely park shoes, but they're swaggy. Especially if Leon has some compression pants, some gray shorts. Man, them mugs is fuego, bro. You already know how I like to rock. These, these is definitely a come up too, bro. These is a come up. When I was a kid, I always wanted some of these, but of course, my grandma couldn't afford it. You know what I'm saying? She was too busy living her own life. She wasn't worried about getting us no drip. What was drip? She didn't know what drip was. Couldn't even ask her for the drip. She was gonna laugh at me. But definitely liking these. Fuego, bro. Dang, and you know what's weird? I used to love a girl whose name was TN, and she always rocked these too. And on the back, it got TN. She know who she is, man. Look, what's crazy is when I got older, and I still lived in Gary, she actually gave me a chance, which was crazy, because it's like, when you in elementary and you get turned down by the finest girl in school, and then you grow up and you look a little bit better, and you got something going for yourself, and that same girl comes back to you, you know, you, you want to diss them, but at the same time, you still want to see what it's like. You want to be like, okay, I'll, at least I did give it a try. I mean, you know what I'm saying? At least I got my try. That's what I really want to say. But yeah, even these, these Fuego too, man. I made sure I didn't get nothing that I wouldn't want to see the kids in 
And that's the point of this video. Like, yeah, I didn't get them all white forces because look, what's the point of doing that? They gonna get them dirty and then they gonna be old. Now, speaking of forces, these mugs are different. I don't even have no forces that you can peel the Nike sign off. So Jalea killing the game with these right here. Definitely a good idea to come up. Look, you see what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. She definitely gonna have a good time with these because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Jalea is very creative. She took some brand new forces I got at one time and took some rhinestones and glued them all on. It was super fuego. Like, everybody was looking at them like, damn, Jalea, them, them actually cool. So I know Jalea gonna appreciate them. What's these? I don't know who I got these for, but these definitely some hooping shoes, for sure. Put these down here. These might be for Leo. Yeah, these might be Leon's. Leon was asking me right before Royalty dumped me, we had went to Dick's Sporting Goods and we was buying things and I tried to get Leon some shoes, but they didn't have his size. And he basically, he, he, he did something I didn't expect him to do. He basically wanted some shoes like this. Not swaggy, just straight hooping shoes that he can have fun in. And I tried to get them, but they didn't have his size. So he ended up wearing his old white horses, which got busted her by playing in the park. So that's just, that's made me sad. Cause I had a chance to get him something, but they didn't have his size. He wears size six and they didn't have a size six. But as you can see right here, this is what you call options. This is what you call kids. You ready to go to the park? Put on your shoes. And if you get them straight from the park, they can still go to the mall with you because their shoes are fuego. Like we got LeBron's, Nike's, we got Air Max's, Forces. Bro, there's so many different things over here. So many different options. Running shoes, hooping shoes, swaggy shoes. Like they got options, all right? And this is not the end. Like I said, this is nothing. This right here was like taking a penny and throwing it in the water to me. I know this is like, I don't wanna, you know, step on nobody's toes and make it seem like you guys can't afford anything, but even you guys could have walked to that store and bought all this and it wouldn't even hurt you. Cause you don't even know how much this cost. This was not a lot. So money ain't the issue. It's the fact of the thought that matters. And obviously I'm thinking about the kids. I want them to live better. I've always wanted them to live better. And I want them to have anything. I want them to have options. I would do the same for your kids if you brought them over here and they didn't have nothing. Now I'm not saying everybody bring their kids over here cause that's just gonna be too terrible because I'm not even going to be here but I'm just trying to let you guys know that I mean maybe I should do that deal maybe I should instead of giving the game cards away I should go to the store buy a bunch of random sizes of shoes and then just walk around giving them away I can see who needs shoes I don't need to go live you know I can go to somewhere publicly and give shoes away that's what we're gonna do put that in your notes for me my boy Dilo right now is my secretary, he's my maintenance tech, he's my bodyguard, he's my best friend. What else you is? Sometimes he's my cameraman, he just trash with that. He sometimes he my editor. You only edited like two videos for me though. Wow. You gonna lie? You gonna lie? You lying through your teeth right now, bro. Just cause you got them Invisalign braces don't mean the lies is stick it in your mouth. You're lying through your teeth. These called the near. How many videos you edited in mine? Come on. Like five. Oh my god, this dude really. Name him. Yeah, if you edited five videos, you should know all of them, because that's, nah. that's, that's crazy. Doing you know. so much, I nah, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to remember. Name I three. Remember Name do. three. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. I know I did. Nah, nah. Because every time you edit a video, I got to go behind you and re-edit the video. I think you got to go behind I you. think what so. Just said, what you just in Florida when I had to edit and post the video? What video was that? Mm. Name the video. I edited it and told you to post it. Nah, heck yeah. Nah. Y'all hear his voice when he lie when he get laughed. Heck no. Nah. That's the lie going through them veneers or whatever them things is, man. Listen, you got your legs crossed, you look like you're lying, but it's written all over your do rag. You've been in the sun all day. I was working on time. Okay. Working on towels. Okay. And I was working on doorbells. <laughs> okay. Cleaning it up over there with the shit. Wait, 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 wait. How much did you make from doing that other stuff? What stuff? The stuff you named. Well, working on cars and power and all that. Okay, so that was free. So what about the power? Oh, I made a little money. What's a little bit of money? Why are you scared? Because I don't like telling people. He think I'm going to be like, oh, you don't need no money from me because you made $500 earlier. Like, what you, you get? You're the only one that thinks like that. Well, what you freaking I'm gonna get? I'm telling them that I make money, man. All right, all right, all right. So y'all see he look broke. So basically what he's saying is he's yeah. broke. He didn't make I'm no broke, money. Man. He lying. Y'all want to see D-Lo's stock portfolio? We got $10,000 <laughs> stock options now. This man is the man. Look, ladies, give him a call. He got money, all right? He might not be spending it on the ladies, but he got money. And if you can sweet talk him up out of it, you owe me a percentage. That's right, ladies. Let me know if D-Lo pay, because if he pay, I won't mind. No delay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 11 o'clock. I'm getting tired. I've been waiting since 9. 
Actually, I think I caught her at 840. I've been waiting since 840. It's 11. I'm about to put these shoes back in the boxes, get ready to take a shower, and lay down. I know that she wasn't going to come because I could hear it in her voice that she knew I was recording. But it's no, you know, it's cool. It's no beef. It's no biggie. Just hopefully one day she lets them come get these shoes because there's no point in me buying all this. I can't wear it. So I want them to have it. Even if they don't come back and move in, I would rather them take the shoes to wherever y'all are staying at and let them have them, let them play in them, let them enjoy it. It's for them, it's not for me. Only reason I recorded it is to document it because I know you guys don't know what's going on. You wanna know what's going on. And I've already put most of my life online. Why stop now? Anyway, everyone watching this video, I love you so much. Man, please play for me, y'all. <clears throat> Man, please just pray for me, y'all. I know a lot of you guys think everything is for entertainment purposes only. A lot of you guys think it's staged, fake, whatever. I don't even care. I just want those of you that know it's true to pray for me. Because as hard as this is for you to watch me come on here and vent, it's way harder for me. Because I'm the one actually living in it. I'm trying to stay cool, continue doing what I do, which is YouTube. And somehow incorporate my life into the YouTube. But I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be stressing out on camera. This is not as easy as you guys think it is, but just know this. I told y'all I was going to keep grinding. I told y'all I wasn't going to stop because I'm not going to allow the haters to have one up on me. No one's going to be able to point at me and say, I told y'all he was going to stop posting. I told y'all that. No, I'm not going to stop. Even, I might stop talking about them and the kids and royalty, but I'm not going to stop. All right, because you told, I told you, I've already been this person. There's nothing new about me. Only thing that's new is more people know about me. I'm not going to quit. And I want everybody out there watching that's going through the same thing. Because obviously I'm not, the, I'm not the only one. There's a lot of families going through the same thing. Men, it's up to us to change. We got to stop cheating. We got to start treating our ladies right. We got to treat them like the queen we want them to be. How you expect a dog or woman now and then expect her to do everything you want her to do? So I'm taking full responsibility. I'm taking the blame. It's my fault that all this is happening in the first place. But I'm trying. I'm trying hard as I can to fix it. And it's, it doesn't seem like it's working. And I know I got a lot of people on my side, so I just want you guys to know I'm going to continue to try because a lot of you want the family back together. But forget what you guys want. I want the family back together a lot. That's all I think about. Like, yeah, the Tata situation, whatever that was, that wasn't what it. this is. This is real life situation. My family, I love them. My blood. I haven't saw my blood since Mother's Day. I'm really trying to see them. I'm trying to connect with them, hug them, kiss them, and let them be in my life. I know you guys miss them. I'm trying to show them to you guys, let you guys see that even though me and royalty aren't together, we still can co you know, communicate and co-parent and be friends at least, if anything. But like I said, I'm getting tired of standing around waiting. I'm calling her back to back. She's not answering. So I'm getting that vibe like, She's not coming, and she's, you know, she tricked. Anyway, it's your boy, it's so cool. I'm checking out with another video. I love you guys. Remember to always pray first. Everything else comes after that. We got to go. Peace. My school kids, go. My best friend, go. Now watch the money go. All my ladies, go. Now all my fellas, go.